Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, uh, well, how do you get to the advanced boot options in Windows 11? Slightly different than Windows 11. Uh, there's kind of a little submenu that is a little more complex to go to, but it's the same option and it's the same thing. So, of course, we're talking here about something that um, we had in the past, if you remember Windows XP, Windows 7, you'd press F8 on your keyboard at boot up, and you'd immediately go into um, all the options needed for the advanced boot options, including the safe mode, and so on, command prompt, and so on. Um, and of course, they removed the capability of doing it with F8, but they added that capability within the operating system. Uh, so you can actually go into the advanced boot menu once again for multiple options that we'll talk about and look at. So in Windows 11, to do so, you go to your Start button, you go to the Settings app. Here you'll go once again into the Windows Update, just like in Windows 10. But here you have Advanced Options. That is here. And Advanced Options, you go down for recovery so it's a little more complicated there's kind of extra steps in Windows 11 on this option but then you go to recovery and here you'll have the advanced startup options restart your device to change settings startup settings including starting from a disk USB drive you can go to your UEFI firmware BIOS and safe mode command prompt safe mode and so on so you click the restart now button that's on the right side of your screen and it will get you into the recovery mode for Windows 11. So a few extra steps compared to Windows 10, which is more to the point and quicker, but you will get to the advanced boot menu where you got more options that you can look at. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.